Hi, my name is Donna Bellamy and I'm the author of Raising Happy Kids and I'm also the mother of six. And today I want to share with you Romans 4.17. And it says, As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. In the presence of him who believed, God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things that do not exist as though they did. So I just want to share with you, you know, God is our example of the perfect parent. And so God spoke to Abraham that he would be the father of many nations and that he called him Abraham, which means father of many nations. And he said that before Abraham was even a father of one. And so, and if God speaks those things that be not as though they were to his children, then we need to do that with our children, even if they're misbehaving, even if they're being lazy, even if they're being naughty, you know, it is important for us not to speak that over them. Because if we want to see change, then we need to change the words that we speak first. Because kids and people in general are designed to believe what we hear. God made us that way. Just like, you know, when God, you know, spoke to Abraham, you know, God counted as righteousness to Abraham because he believed the words that God spoke. And our children believe the words that we speak because after all, who knows them better than we do? You know, we're their parents. And so if we speak something over them, they're going to believe it. And God says to us in Proverbs 18.21 that death and life are in the power of the tongue so that we can change our children for the better just by speaking words of life over them, by not speaking what we see, but speaking who we know that they are, who God created them to be, and keeping that confession, telling them that they're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, telling them, oh man, you're such a good helper, you're such a blessing, I'm so thankful that God gave you to me, you know, and start speaking those things, you know, that would have just joy bubble up within them and they will want to continue to be pleasing to you because they'd want to hear those words spoken over them. And so, you know, because we're made in the image of God and when God, God created this whole world through his words and we're made in his image and in his likeness. And so we can create with our words and God wants us to make sure that we use our words to create, you know, life and not death in our children and I heard this story once and there was this young girl and her mom noticed that she was moping around that she was depressed you know that um, she cried often for no reason and you know she you know withdrew within herself you know at home and at school and so her mom you know as she brushed her hair in the morning she decided that she was gonna speak words of life over her daughter and so she started doing that like for five minutes she'd be brushing her daughter's hair and doing her daughter's hair for school and saying you know I am so proud of you you know you are such a good girl you know you are um, a con you are so confident you're a confident woman of God and just start speaking words of life over her daughter and her daughter had a turnaround a complete turnaround you know she she the, the depression left her you know she stopped crying you know um, she spent more time with um, kids at school, she made more friends, she was she began to be really popular at school and her grades picked up. So she had this complete turnaround just from that one choice that her mum made to speak words of life over her daughter and that made all the difference. So I just wanted to encourage you that it's important for us not to speak what we see with our eyes but to speak you know, the truth of what God says about our children over them and what we desire for our children over them. Because if we don't change what we speak, then we're not going to change the atmosphere and we're not going to see a change. And so we have that power as parents, you know, to speak words of life over our children. So I just wanted to encourage you with that. So if this video blessed you, can you please like and share it? And also like my page if you haven't already. And if you know of a mother that would really, you know, get a lot out of, you know my ministry can you please also you know help you know um, have her like my page as well so that she can also get my updates and my videos I'd really appreciate it thank you